Okay, yeah, so feel free. You can either recline with soles of the feet together and lie down in a, in a butterfly. Got one more person coming in. Good morning. <laughs> and then you can always sit with the soles of the feet together. <clears throat> and just sink into the breath. Sink into whatever space that you're in. For those of you that practiced yesterday, it's very similar with the, the poem I'm going to read, but it's a more gentler restorative practice. So you might notice even just different energy shifting today than yesterday. It's always changing, never the same. Really nice, guys. Let's allow the shoulder blades to sink into the floor. And feel the entire spine on the floor. If having the soles of your feet together isn't quite comfortable or relaxing, maybe just bring the feet to the floor and let the knees fall together. And the feet can be really wide but just something that's gonna allow you to really sink the back body into the floor. And if that reclined butterfly feels good, then we're just offering our hips to open a little bit. It's really beautiful to have all of you here from all over, whether it's across the street or across the nation. We're just going to tap into that love that stretches all over, but is right here with us for today's practice. Maybe beginning to bring awareness to the breath. Maybe you notice it in the heart, maybe you notice it in the stomach. Or maybe it's in more of the throat, but just notice without judging, just bring awareness to the breath. Maybe sigh. And then moving from the breath, bringing our awareness to our heart. And feeling the heart beating in our chest. And then maybe just energetically sinking those backs of the shoulders, shoulder blades, the backs of the shoulders into the floor a little, and maybe creating some space and expansion from the clavicle to the shoulders, and maybe that heart is having a little more space to shine. And just exhale. I'd like to share something that I came across just last week. When you go out and see the empty streets, the empty playgrounds, the empty stadiums, the empty train platforms, don't say to yourself, it looks like the end of the world. What you're seeing is love in action. What you're seeing in that negative space 
is how much we do care for each other, for our grandparents, for our immunocompromised brothers and sisters, for people we will never meet. People will lose jobs over this. Some will lose businesses. And some will lose their lives. All the more reason to take a moment when you're out on your walk or on your way to the store or just watching the news to look into the emptiness and marvel at all of that love. Let it fill you and sustain you. It isn't the end of the world. It is the most remarkable act of global solidarity we may ever witness. Just breathing into that global solidarity. And now breathing in wonder and marvel. And exhale. And then we can breathe in just anything that might be with us right now. And just hold that and love that. And then gently exhale, just slowly and mindfully exhale. And then bringing back an inhale Maybe just beginning to move the head side to side with our breaths. And then find some stillness again and maybe place both hands over the heart or maybe one hand on the heart and one hand on the stomach. And we'll send ourselves some loving kindness. And thank yourself for being here this morning. And thank yourself for being exactly who you are right now. And then we'll just bring to mind someone that we love deeply. We'll just imagine them beside us. And as we begin to practice, we'll just imagine them practicing beside us, moving with our breath. We're breathing together, moving together, just becoming one breath. Now, right where you are, just gently bring those knees together. And then send those legs nice and long, just a variation of our legs up the wall. So there's a grilling footprint on the sky. 
And just allow that blood flow to just flow down the legs, and land in the hips, and up to the heart, and then back and forth, maybe noticing the nuance of the breath in the body, and just the flowing of the blood in the body. we inhale, maybe notice the back of the body against the floor. And exhale. Maybe your palms are up or down, or maybe they're still on your heart. We'll bring our awareness to the beating of our heart. And then imagine that person that you love. And just like you, their heart is beating in their chest. As we breathe and move together today. Now let's exhale, bend the knees, let's bend them into the chest. Maybe you rock side to side, giving a little massage on the back, that small of the back. If you'd like to lift the upper back off the earth and bring the nose to the knees, maybe rounding into a little ball as you rock side to side, you can do that too. Just a few more breaths here. And let's exhale, lower everything down to the floor if you lifted the upper back up. And exhale, release the feet to the floor, maybe hip distance apart. We'll set up for our bridge flow. So maybe walk the heels in kind of close to the seat so you can touch the backs of the heels. Press the feet into the floor and on an exhale, lift the hips towards the sky, maybe engaging the glutes to really drive the hips up. And then exhale, lower. Now we'll inhale, lift. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, maybe lift the arms with the hips this time so they float across the sky like a rainbow and come down behind us. And then exhale, lower the hands down along with the hips. And then moving at your own pace, just inhale and exhale, lifting and floating the hands. You can hang out at the top for a couple of breaths, or if you want to go right back down, bring the hips to the floor. Just noticing the breath, noticing the energy flow in the body. Just a few more breaths wherever you're at with your bridge flow. And then the next time that you bring those hips down, just pause at the bottom. Maybe you hug the knees back into the chest. And then we'll exhale, bring the feet back to the floor. Let's find butterfly again, a reclined butterfly. Now notice the breath, notice the heartbeat. And let it fill you and sustain you. This life in the body, this love, Now exhale, let's bring our knees together. We'll roll over to one side, either side, it doesn't matter. And then we'll come up to sit, but we'll keep our knees bent and our feet on the floor. And I'm gonna just turn so you can kind of see me straight on. 
but keep those knees out in front. And maybe bring the hands beside you and let's bring those feet really, really wide. And then from here, let's just bring the knees over to the right side. And I'm mirroring you, so it's, it, it's technically my left, but will look like my right to you, hopefully. And then bring the hands across and behind us. So the arms and hands are behind, just for a gentle twist, and maybe just turning that heart towards the back of the mat. So our feet and our knees are in front, and the heart is facing the opposite way. And from here, you can come down to your forearms, or you can stay right here on the hands. Just a gentle twist. And then tune in with the heart and feel the heart in your body. And exhale. We'll inhale. And exhale, maybe sigh. And now on an exhale, whenever you get to your next exhale, just bring everything forward. And then bring those knees up. So the feet are flat, the knees are up. And maybe you just move them side to side. Little windshield wipers. Slowly. There's no rush. Then when you're ready on an exhale, bring the knees over to the other side and then come into your gentle twist on the other side, bringing the heart behind to shine behind. Just a gentle twist. You can even walk the hands to the side if that feels better on the side, or they can come behind. I'm just breathing into this shape And imagine that person that you love deeply. Just imagine that they're right there beside you. And feel their love for you radiate to you. And let it fill you and sustain you. And then we'll take a couple breaths to just marvel in that love that you share with that person. And on an exhale, whenever you're ready, walk the hands across side and back to face the knees, bring the feet to the floor, the knees are wide. Shine the heart up, maybe lifting the chest. Puffing it up. And then when you're ready, just windshield wiper the feet side to side. Maybe pausing, offering a little bit of a stretch on the outside hip on one side. Then let's bring everything to stillness in the center. So the feet are flat. And then we'll just kind of curl up in a little ball. Maybe we grab opposite elbows. Maybe our hands just on our shins. Just kind of tuck in the chin to the chest. Notice your breath. Notice your heartbeat. And let's just come home to ourselves in this little ball. And feel some refuge right here in ourselves. Relaxing shoulders, softening our heart, and softening our face. And we'll inhale, let's lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Now, when, however you want, whenever you're ready, we're going to come to a stand. So just go ahead and come up to the front of the mat. <clears throat> and then when you get there, maybe... Just sway side to side, or maybe you just want to stretch and reach the arms out. Whatever feels really good on the body, maybe you want to step the legs wide and 
just kind of sway, but we'll just take some kind of good morning wake up movements. And yeah, if you want to do, I don't know what it's called. It is called the kidney slap. If you want to find the kidney slap, you can. If you want to grab the big toes, bending the knees a lot, maybe you come down and do a little ball and back up. Well, just offer yourself kind of whatever you need after coming off the floor. I'm going to take off my ice skating squirrel Christmas socks. And just a few more movements wherever you're at, and then we'll meet in mountain pose at the front of the mat. So our mountain pose is such a beautiful invitation to embody the qualities of a mountain. We'll stand strong through the feet and ground. We'll roll our shoulders back. And then we'll inhale, reach up. And then let's exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. And bend the knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, inhale, rise up. Let's move through this a few times, just allowing this to just be a flow to kind of wash out and cleanse. You can move quickly or you can move slowly. But just imagine yourself just releasing anything that would feel good to get rid of, even if you don't even know what it is. Just offering that body's wisdom to be like, oh, great, we have free reign to just let it go. So let it go. And know that you're being sustained by the love that is all around you in class today, by that friend that is beside you practicing in spirit and by yourself. A few more rounds. You're welcome to pause in mountain pose whenever you want. We will meet in mountain pose, so whenever you're ready, it's fine mountain pose. Ground through the feet. Maybe bring a hand to the heart, maybe a hand to the stomach. Know that the earth that you're standing on is the same earth as the person beside you in our Zoom session the person below you, above you in Zoom, those people next door, we're all standing on the same ground. Let's exhale, release the hands to the side, and then we're just gonna turn around, so we're gonna face the back of the mat. So we've got an entire mat in front of us, maybe depending on how it's, it's set up for you. We're going to inhale, reach our hands up, and exhale, step the right foot forward so the heel is on the earth, the toes point up. We're going to exhale, fold forward, bend that knee if you need to. Just kind of allow the hands to be heavy, frame the foot. And then inhale, reach up, you can bring that foot to the floor, we'll stand. And then exhale, step that left foot forward in front of the right, the toes point up, the heels on the floor. Exhale, fold. And we'll hang and pause here. Then we'll inhale, bend the knees. We're going to bring that left foot to the floor as we rise and reach for the sky. Exhale, step the right foot forward, the toes point up, heels on the earth. Exhale, let it go, fold, bending the knees as much as you need to as you bow over that leg. Bending the knees a lot or a little. Inhale, bend that knee, bring the right foot to the floor if you want as you rise. And exhale, let's step that left foot forward. If you're out of mat, it's okay. Bring it to the floor, toes point to the sky. Lower those shoulders if they're creeping up. 
And then when you're ready, exhale, fold and bow over that extended leg. Fold and breathe and just surrender here. Now bend that knee, you can bring the foot to the floor as we inhale, rise up all the way. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the side. You can step that foot back to meet the right foot, roll the shoulders back. And let's find our mountain pose. Bring the hands to the heart. Notice your heart and your chest. And know that just like your heart, the person that you love's heart is also beating in their chest. Let their love radiate to you and your love to them and let it fill you and sustain you. Now exhale, release the hands. Let's turn around. So now we're going to face the front of our mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe bend the knees. Kind of fold up in a little ball and come down to the knees. Bring the hands underneath the arm, the shoulders. There's no rush to get there. We'll just meet in our tabletop. In our tabletop, let's bring our left hand underneath our heart. Bring the right arm up to sky. Reach for the sky with that right hand. And then exhale, let's thread the needle, bring that right shoulder to the floor. And that left hand can be out in front, really far towards the front of the mat, or maybe just beside the face, but don't allow a bunch of, of weight on the head. And we'll just exhale and allow for a little stretch on the outside of the arm. Maybe keep the hips above the knees if that feels okay. We'll be here for just a few breaths. Maybe draw the belly button to the spine. Now we'll inhale, bring the right arm through, reach up for sky, let's pause. Feel the expansion in the chest. Exhale, bring that right arm down. And walk our hands all the way forward and sink the heart down for our heart melting pose, Anahatasana. The forearms can be on the floor, the palms are down. If you want to lift the forearms up and just press into the hands, you can. Just allow your heart to melt into the earth. That earth that we're all sharing and standing upon. Your heart beating the same as mine person beside you, above you, below you, in the house next door. Now inhale, glance at the hands. Exhale, walk the hands in. Bring that right hand under the heart. Then lift the left arm up for sky, reach and expand, creating space in the chest. And exhale, thread the arm through. So the left shoulder maybe comes to the floor, or maybe it's lifted a little bit. Keep the right hand pressing in. You can bring the head to the floor, but just don't put all your weight into it. Opening up the back of the shoulder, the side of the shoulder. Maybe softening the gaze and closing the eyes and just noticing the breath and the body in this shape. Just being present. And just feeling what you feel. Noticing your thoughts. And letting them go. Coming back to the beating of your heart. 
and we'll press into the ground with that right hand lifting the head, the shoulder, and then bring that left arm through and reach up for the sky. Exhale, bring that hand down, and then feel free to come into your puppy pose again, really stretching out those arms, or maybe you want to sit back in child's pose. Maybe you want to sink that heart down towards the knees more instead of the floor. So find what feels best for you, and just find some pause and stillness. and marvel at all of that love. And now inhale, glance up at the hands. Lift the seat up if you're in child's pose. Kind of come into more of a tabletop. And then if you want to come into downward facing dog, let's curl both the feet Toes under, lift the hips up and back. Maybe you want to just hang out in your tabletop, and that's okay too. So if you're coming into downward facing dog, just make that upside down V shape. The hands press into the floor. The hips lift up for the sky. If you're in tabletop, those knees are down, hip distance apart, the heart's parallel with the floor, and the hands press in. We'll inhale. And exhale, just finding that peace in this posture. And stillness within. And now we'll glance up at the hands. Let's step both of our feet forward if you're in tabletop. Step the feet forward between the hands. Then bend the knees and we'll rise up finding mountain pose again. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. In our mountain pose, maybe you don't know the person in our class today that's next to you, to the right or to the left, that's up or below, but just tap into their beating of their heart. And let's breathe in the love of this group. And exhale, let it sustain us. And then from here, lower down the hands. I'm going to face you guys. We're going to do some chair pose sun breaths. So we'll reach our arms up to sky, and then we'll exhale, sit back in our chair. Yeah, and now bring the hands out so they're in front of the shoulders. And then watch those knees, make sure the knees don't go past each other. We're just gonna bring that right arm back, glance over to the thumb, make sure that left knee is not going past the right. Exhale, bring the hand back to center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit in the chair. Good, bring the hands out in front of the shoulders. Then exhale, that left hand comes behind. Make sure the right knee's not creeping past the left. Glance at that left thumb. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit in our chair. Bring the hands in front of the shoulders. Exhale, bring that right arm back. Glance at that right thumb, maybe, or towards the left, if that feels better on the neck. Exhale, hand comes back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit in our chair. Good, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands in front of the, the chest. Let's inhale. Exhale, that left hand goes back. Bring it back to center. Inhale, rise. Now exhale, let's fold all the way forward, wash it out. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit in our chair. Bring the hands out in front. 
Exhale, bring the right hand behind. Bring it back to center. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit back down. Good, bring the arms out in front. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left hand behind us. Inhale, bring it back up. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit back one last sun breath. And bring the arms out in front, inhale. Exhale, sweep the hand behind us. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sit down. Good, inhale, hands in front of the shoulders. Exhale, the left hand goes back. Then exhale, the left hand comes back to the front. Inhale, rise. And we exhale, bring our hands to heart center. And pause in our mountain pose. Now notice the beating of the heart and the chest. Feel the heartbeat of the person beside you in this session. Notice the heartbeat of the person that you love. And bend the knees, inhale, rise. And then exhale, fold. Let's step our right foot back and then lower that right knee. And then bring that left foot way out in front. So we're on the heel again, kind of like we were when we walked across our mat earlier, coming into our half splits. So flex that foot so the toes are towards the face. The right knee's over the, or underneath the right hip. And you can stay here with hands on the floor. Or if you want to rise up and just feel that heart in the chest, you can. And then we can exhale, fold over that leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. And then flex that foot. Bend the knee as much as you need to, to just bow and maybe offer an opening in the back of the leg. Relaxing the elbows, softening the shoulders, but activating that core, drawing the belly button to spine. And just let the love sustain you and feel the love in this group. Feel the love that I have for you. And just let it radiate and fill your heart. We'll inhale, exhale, sigh. Now let's inhale, walk the hands forward as we bring that left knee over the left ankle. And maybe you stay here with the hands on the floor. The top of the right foot's also on the floor maybe, or you can be on the toes. If you wanna rise up, rise up. And we'll find a little bit of stillness here for a couple breaths. If you're folded over that leg, just let that part hover and pour into the earth. Now, wherever you're at, bring that left hand to the top of the thigh. And then bring that right arm, if your arm is up, to sweep it down and back, kind of reaching for that heel, but we don't have to exactly find it. We're just getting a little twist, kind of like in our chair, we had our arm extended back. Just kind of opening up a little twist to the side. Just a breath or two here. Good, guys. And exhale, bring that hand back. Maybe bring the hands on top of the thigh. Pull the shoulders back. Shine the heart. And then exhale, fold. Frame that front foot. And now let's bring the right leg up to meet the left. So we can step forward. And however gracefully or non-gracefully you do that is fine. And then let's step the left foot back. And lower that knee. Then exhale, come on to the heel of the right foot. And then we can fold and bow. Maybe trying to keep the left hip over the left knee, but it's not like 
I'm gonna, it's not like anything is really gonna happen if it doesn't feel bad. If it feels okay, then that hip can be kind of back a little bit. Okay. And offer a bend in the knee and then we'll just bow and humble our hearts and marvel in all the love in our Ardha Hanumanasana. I love Hanuman. He was half monkey, half man, and he was so devoted. He had such love for Ram that other people were envious because he was so devoted. He had so much love in his heart. And so as we're in our half Hanuman pose, just allow the love to fill our hearts. We'll inhale. Now exhale, off that bend now on this side. So coming into our half lunge. And if you want to keep the hands down, you can. If you want to lift up and reach up and then those hips kind of high, you can. If you want to stay down, you can stay down as well. So find what really serves your practice today. And we'll be here for a few breaths. Our awareness on the breath and the heart. Now exhale from wherever you're at, bring those hands on top of the thigh. And then exhale, bring that left hand behind you. You can bring it to the calf if that feels good. Maybe you can find that foot if you did it on the other side. But just a little back bend, a little twist. Inhale, and exhale, bring that hand back to center, bring that hand on top of the thigh, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then exhale, come to a seat. So if you bring that knee back, and find our seated position. If you have anything handy, like your pillows and stuff, grab that. Sorry if you guys got seated before I said that. Find a, your pillows or your dog beds, whatever you're gonna use today. Maybe a small child. We're gonna bring our legs wide. Our feet are wide. So if you wanna bring a blanket underneath your heels, if that's gonna be supportive, you can. Let's bring our feet really wide apart and then allow those feet to just be floppy. And then with that bolster, or maybe you have a few pillows, if you're using pillows, just stack some pillows up in front of you. We're gonna come into a wide-legged forward fold. So maybe try to keep those sits bones on the floor. And then if you have a bolster, bring the forehead to the bolster. And then you can just kind of relax like this. Or if you have a bunch of pillows that are stacked, just find that spot, or you can have a bunch of blankets. Find a spot that feels okay, where you can just allow your head to rest. You're gonna let go of any effort here. So relaxing the arms, relaxing the neck, and then relax the feet so we're not engaging the muscles of the leg. The legs. Uh, you can exhale and just rest. Maybe the forehead is on the pillow. So your face is down or maybe the cheek. But we're gonna rest here. our first restorative posture. So we'll be here about five minutes. So really allow yourself to get comfortable.
and really give yourself permission to be still. So as many things as you need to really prop that head up so you are still. Just bring that over or find that. You've got plenty of time to sink in and you can always adjust. You're not committed to any way. You just want to be sure that we're really not engaging any muscles. So that time is over. Now we're just going to be in surrender. Just let it all go. Just imagine that person that you thought of at the beginning of class right beside you. Maybe you take their hand and give it a little squeeze. So we're all in this together. Maybe you say, I don't understand why we're doing this and just fold it over a big pile of pillows. But what we're doing is we're just offering that liver meridian that runs in the inside of the legs, just giving it some room and space to flow. And then this fold that we're in we're just signaling to our body's nervous system to just shh, be still. To just be still and quiet. I like to just imagine if my back were a waterfall that all my cares or worries can just be swept off my back, like just water just cascading down, just washing everything away. And the backs of our legs and our sits bones are securely grounded to the earth. So bring in that stability and support of the earth below. That waterfall, maybe gushing across the back or maybe trickling down, washing it all away. and the love of all of us in this room, that person beside you, and your own self. Feel it fill your heart. Maybe you notice your chest pressing against those pillows Really feel that heart and let it sustain you. Take a deep inhale, one breath for that love for yourself. And exhale, sigh. Then 
the next breath, that love that you have for the person beside you and they have for you. And then exhale. And then one more breath in for all of us in this class, whether present now or watching later. And exhale. Now we'll gently press up from our wide-legged fold. We'll show you where we're headed next. So maybe if you have a bolster, from your fold, there's no rush. Come up nice and slow. And then you can move those things out of the way. And bring the bolster down to the floor if you have one, or if you have a few blankets, you can stack a bunch of blankets up. But we want our shoulder blades to be right on the bolster. And then we're gonna have some options here. So we're gonna have the shoulder blades on the bolster and the arms out wide and the head can just hang over the top of that bolster. I personally like to have a little bit of support for my head. So maybe if you have a shorter pillow or a smaller pillow or a block, you can do that. But we're gonna open our hearts here. So be ready for that. <laughs> and we're gonna open up the chest and let the arms hang out to the side. And I like to have something underneath my head and then I sometimes change it partway through. But we're just lifting the chest here. So that's, that's kind of what we're, we're hoping to do. Our legs can be long if you like that. Maybe you like your feet wide and your knees together, but try to find zero effort. Maybe you have just one little towel underneath your back. If you have just one blanket or a towel, that's okay too, because we're just lifting the heart just a little bit. It's just gonna be higher than our shoulders or higher than our hips. We just wanna get the heart up just a little. So we have, options. You can bring the arms out wide or maybe they're just by your side. But really feel your heart held high. Really feel the heart lifted and the back of the body is supported behind you and below you. And then breathe into that heart space. And just breathe and breathe and breathe. If you think you can't breathe anymore, just keep breathing. Maybe sigh it out. Maybe you notice on the exhale that heart sinks down into the backbone, but will rise again with the inhale. Relax the backs of the legs. Relax backs of the hands. Mm 
and soften the front of the throat. And soften your eyes. Maybe allow yourself to feel just a little more than you did a breath or two ago. Breathe in love for yourself. Let it fill your heart and flow through your entire physical being. And inhale really deeply and feel the love you have for the other person that you thought of at the beginning of class. And exhale, let their love fill your being. And inhale the love that we have for each other in this beautiful community. And exhale. Now our next offering for ourselves. You're welcome to stay as you are, or you can just gently kind of roll over and press up and move any pillows from the chest area and come into Shavasana. Whatever your Shavasana looks like today. Again, if you wanna stay, with this little heart bridge. You can stay in heart bridge or you can come into Shavasana. And in your Shavasana or in your continued heart bridge, just know that this love that we have for each other and love for yourself is like a cocoon. And we're here just nurturing each other and holding each other. And we can just be and relax. And our Shavasana, just like that little cocoon, our Shavasana seals our practice. It integrates all of the breath, all of the postures, all of the energy that we've moved and been with through our entire practice. It holds it and seals it, and it transforms everything for our highest good, supporting us in remembering who we are as spirit. So sink into your Shavasana, sink into your cocoon, and let this love that we have here now just fill you and sustain you. Allow yourself to be.
let go of any effort to notice anything that we noticed earlier. Just allow yourself to be. And if thoughts do come in, then you can bring it back to that heartbeat and then let go of any awareness. Really good job, guys. Really nice. Let's inhale to open the palms so our palms are open, our hands are wide, maybe face up to the sky. And then we'll exhale that love that we have for that other person and feel their love for us. And then inhale, open the palms again. And exhale, close the palms, feeling that love, the person beside you, to the right, to the left, above and below. And let their love fill you and sustain you. And then we'll inhale one more time, opening the palms, facing up to the sky and marvel at all of that love in the emptiness. Let that fill you and sustain you as you close the palms and we hold each other in our hands and in our hearts. And inhale, open the palms and let it be so. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace.